Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we're going to take a look at these new low noise props for the DJI FPV Avada drone. Now, many of you are going to get an Avada for Christmas. I'm pretty sure of it. Santa's going to be good to you. And you'll probably want to change up your Avada so it doesn't look like every other Avada on your street because a lot of people are going to have them. They're going to be pretty popular. So uh, getting these orange props is pretty cool. Now, the company that makes this is called AFOIS. Let me just check. A-F-O-I-S. AFOIS, that's how I pronounce it. I don't know if they make them, but they sell them. They say, we are a Los Angeles-based small company. So uh, they sent me these props that you just saw. They also come in a smoky black color if you want to stay with the black routine. As well, they sent me props for the DJI FPV drone. And uh, these ones are foldable props. They don't say they're low noise or anything. I really don't know what the purpose is of the foldable props. You know, they bend. There's three blades. They bend. I don't know what the purpose is. Maybe to fit better in your case. But they don't bend all the way back to go like three props into one skinny prop to put things away. There's still one prop always sticking out. So I'm not really sure what the purpose of these are. But they are plug and play. You just take off the DJI FPV ones and you put these ones on and everything works. If you want me to review these or make a video showing these props in action on the DJI FPV drone, then post the comment below the more you know requests i get the more i'll do it then but for this video it's all about the avada so are they really low noise is there a sound difference well hmm you check this out So what comes in the package? Well, you have a choice of orange props or smoky black props. Inside the package, you will find four props and the hardware to mount them. Looking closely at the prop, you can see it's pretty much a flexible material and it is the same size and shape as the original DJI props. So what can I tell you about the props that I've noticed? Well, the first thing I noticed is they're very flexible compared to the original props. I don't think these can be damaged as much as the originals by being so flexible. Like I can bend them almost 90 degrees and they go back. They're pretty much like a normal FPV propeller. So I think in that respect for crashes and everything should be okay. I don't know how good they are with nicks and chips because all propellers, you know, made for FPV drones will get nicks and chips. You know, you take off, you're landing on rocks or whatever you're landing on or where you're flying, you crash. You might nick or chip the prop. No idea because I, I haven't tested them, but I'm going to fly them here. So I'll fly it in all three modes. I'll fly it in normal mode, sport mode and manual mode. And I'll see if I can tell a difference. I probably won't be able to tell a difference because I flew it in my basement and it, it seemed to fly like a Nevada since it's all GPS controlled for the most part. But here we go. All right, I will say the orange props against the white background of snow looks very nice. That is uh, very nice looking. The orange looks good. I know when I flew this in my house, I could see the orange quite well. I'm going to put it down on my messed up Captain Drone uh, little landing pad here. Uh, I don't have my goggles on. I'm just flying it like this. Uh, I just want to see how it flies here in the air. It's in normal mode, I believe. Yeah, go up. And let's put it uh, over the snow right over here. And then take a look at it. Okay, so my hat cam could probably pick up the orange. It looks really decent. So I'll take it up and look up at it. See how the props look. Oh, they look pretty orange here. There we go. All right, let's go bring it down. I'll put the goggles on and I'll fly it in the uh, different flight mode. So let's put it over here, plop it down over Mr. Captain Drone landing pad. Okay, first flight's gonna be in normal mode. As I said, I don't think I'll notice a difference. Uh, the record is on, so uh, here we go. See if there's any vibrations in the drone. I'll take it forward towards my camera right up ahead. You can see right here, we'll go off to the side, miss it, and there I am there. How do I look? Am I jittering around? Is there any sort of vibrations in this image? Probably not. I think the props are pretty good. They seem pretty stable when I tried them at home. Let's go over here, see the other guys. And we got some guys over here. And there, Steve's flying something. Oh, I don't want to mess up his signal, so I'll get out of that. Beautiful day for flying. 
I'm in normal mode here, so in normal mode you just fly around uh, just like a DJI Mavic pretty much. It's, it's really good if you're trying to fly indoors and go through objects or under things. It's, it's really nice for that. I will say I really love these goggles. The goggles too, everything is just so clear. I do have prescription lenses in mine. I did a review on them. I just can't remember the name right now. I think it was Hans VR or something like that. Uh, anyways, they're in and God is the image so clear for my eyesight. It's really good. All right, enough with this flying normal. Let's put it down. Everything's fine. And uh, I'll put it down here. And we'll go into sport mode. We'll do this really quick. Okay, coming down. Going up in sport mode. There's a plane up in the air. Now, a lot of people think if you have like a Mavic or whatever, you can chase planes or think you cannot. You cannot chase a plane. You, the problem is, is that when you're in sport mode or when you're in normal mode, flying the Avada or a Mavic or anything, the drone stays at the same height. It cannot change height quickly. It takes a while to go up and it takes a while to come down and the nose doesn't go up and down. So you see, I'm stuck here. I lost the plane a long time ago. But if I put it in uh, manual mode, I can follow anything. So this is sport mode. I'm going full blast. And uh, I don't see any problems. It's, it's really good. Everything looks good. I've got the bank angles set to be where I like them. And uh, yeah, it's all good. So let's bring it back down. And if you're new to the Avada, I have to warn you that the Avada is pretty slow compared to like the DJI FPV drone. So here, let me just go over here. I'll put it back. Oh, not manual mode. I want to put it in normal mode. And I'll come over here. And we'll land over here. Coming back down. There we go, motor starting, and we're going to go up like a bat out of hell. There we go. So now I can chase a plane if I want. Let's try with these props chasing. See that? See how it's so different than the other modes? I can chase the plane no matter where he goes, I can go. There we go. Up, down, around, everything. Loops. There we are. So manual mode's pretty good. I uh, see no problems with it with these props on. I got lots of power. If you're new to the Avada, the Avada does have one problem in manual mode. If you come from the FPV hobby world and you fly FPV drones, you will find if I do a really sharp left turn, it falls out of the sky. Uh, DJI has not been able to fix that. Even with all their updates, it still falls out of the sky. So be wary of that. So what I do is I do nice turns from side to side like this. That way she don't fall out of the sky. So like this, I'll come nice and low to slow. I love to fly low and fast in manual mode. It's so much fun on the Avada. There we go. Going around. Just got to watch out for those goal posts for soccer because a lot of them have the net still in place. So there we are. All right. And then when I get close to me, I go blink into normal mode. And it's that beautiful. Let's go down. Coming over here and we'll land it. I'll give you my uh, final two cents worth of thoughts. There we go. Come over here and landing. There we are. Look at me this time. All right pick up this baby I'm gonna come over to this camera down here and sit in the snow why do I sit in the snow because I'm Canadian that's what we do we sit in the snow we're so used to it all right there's not much else I could say uh, I didn't notice any problems with these props everything flies well everything works well I didn't notice any vibrations or anything I haven't reviewed the video you saw the video to see any vibrations as for the sound I did a sound test. I'll leave it up to you. Was the pitch higher or lower or did they sound the same? Could you tell the difference between these props and the original DJI props? Um, I'll leave it up to you. So with all that said, I'm going to put this product, these props below, a link to it below this video. Go check it out for the price and everything and see if it's for you and see if you want to make your Avada look different than every other Avada on the market. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with many more product reviews. Until then, I say bye.